Hi, this is Travis Shaw with the Virginia Piedmont Heritage Area, uh, here with Anne-Marie Kirillison as we wrap up our journey through the historic highlights of the village of Aldi. Uh, right now we're standing on the very western edge of Aldi um, along the turnpike. Now, during the Civil War, this area would have been in the heart of what was known as Mosby's Confederacy. Uh, Colonel John Singleton Mosby and his partisan rangers would spend the last two years of the American Civil War kind of haunting the hills and hollows along the turnpike, preying on unsuspecting federal troops, supply trains, and really being a thorn in the side of the federal garrisons here in Northern Virginia. But Mosby was not the first famous partisan to haunt the area around Aldi. This squat stone monument that you might see along the road as you leave town is in honor of an 18th century partisan by the name of John Champ. Uh, Champ grew up in a house here uh, just outside of what is now Aldi and during the American Revolutionary War he served in Lee's Partisan Legion, a kind of special forces unit if you will in the Continental Army that did much the same duty as Mosby and his Rangers would do many decades later, uh, ambushing British soldiers, attacking British supply lines. Champ himself though is most famous for taking part in one of the uh, more secretive missions of the Revolutionary War, and that was an attempt to capture the traitor Benedict Arnold. Uh, Champ, a resourceful soldier, um, as well as a physically powerful man, was specifically selected by Light Horse Harry Lee and George Washington uh, to fake his own desertion from the American lines, infiltrate British-held New York City, and try to kidnap Benedict Arnold and bring him to justice. No pressure. No pressure. Uh, unfortunately for Champ, the very day that he was supposed to spring his trap, uh, Arnold and the rest of his command were actually sent aboard boats to sail to invade Virginia. So Champ ends up back here in his home state, uh, not as a hero, but as part of an invading army. And it's not until several months later that he's able to escape the British deserting a second army, right. escaping with his life and returning to the Continental Army without Arnold, but with a lot of very valuable intelligence that would help Washington uh, in the very final years of the war. So this monument stands on the site of John Champ's former home, um, the road behind us known as Champ Ford Road, uh, John Champ High School, just yep. down the road. So a few uh, reminders here on the landscape of this Revolutionary War hero. And a, and a great bookend to the small village of Aldi here along Route 50, uh, modern John Mosby Highway, historically the Little River Turnpike. Um, it's a great spot to come to, just come down, whether from east or west, north or south, it's easy to find your way out to Aldi. Visit the modern village. Um, as I said before, there are shops, there's a place to grab a bite for lunch, and there are a number of historic sites, battlefields, um, cultural sites to come visit while you are here. For more information about Aldi, you can find it at the Nova Parks website with Aldi Mill. You can find it with the Aldi Heritage Association. And of course, you can also find more with the Virginia Piedmont Heritage Area and some of our other um, videos and articles that have been um, written and recorded before this one. So thank you all for joining us. Please come out and enjoy the Heritage Area. Thank you.